So, learning, activity, biofeedback, guided imagery, and meditation. The one thing I want to mention with this is that you can see that there's nothing you can do with the signal from the body once you get high sensitization. But, you know, you might wonder, so it's obvious when you look at the model, but the problem is why isn't it obvious in everyday life? Well, the problem in everyday life is that you don't have this meter. You don't have the meter to know how big the signal is from the body, right? And so you don't know how much of the problem is the signal from the body still being big versus, oh, we've had a malfunction here. <laughs> ah, oh well. At any rate, you don't know how much it's the signal from the body and how much sensitization. But one thing you do know, if pain has lasted more than three months, certainly if it's lasted more than a year, you have a sensitization problem. So you need to cure that before you can even, then you can find out how much there is from the body. But, okay. So um, let's start with learning. So learning. Um, first thing with learning is what is the root cause of sensitization from the perspective of neuroscience? Now, I'm, I'm uh, happy to be a member of a neuroscience collaboration there at UCSB. That's um, Ken Kosick is a distinguished neuroscientist. We have an electrophysiologist, uh, um, a, a, a distinguished theorist, Beth, uh, sorry, I'm Jean Carlson. I'm in the group. There's Linda Petzl, who's a wonderful computer scientist, and a lot of students and postdocs. And this group is, is looking at human neurons now on multi-electrode arrays. So we have these little multi-electrode arrays, which are about like this big. And in the center of that, there's a pattern of electrodes. It's a millimeter across. And on these electrodes grow these neurons. This is about a hundredth of a millimeter across that cell body of the neuron. And so we grow these human neurons and then can record from those electrodes what they're doing. And each of these boxes records 30 seconds of activity of neurons that are over each individual electrode. So, for instance, on this, the, uh, this electrode recorded almost no signal. These spikes are the signals, the action potentials, which is how neurons communicate. Here we have a lot of signal. Um, but you notice there's even coordinated signals, like about this far in, <laughs> A lot of the boxes have a signal about that far in. So there's coordinated signals that involve large numbers of the neurons firing together. And this is with no input. This is just what neurons love to do. Neurons love to just fire. This is the way they play, you know? This is what they do. They just fire, fire, fire. Well, it's no problem if they're in a Petri dish like that. But if they're in your brain generating the experience of pain, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's the problem of sensitization. So the idea is that you have these areas in the brain that have been identified with functional magnetic resonance imaging. And these areas, inside each one of these areas, you have neurons that are firing together in neural circuits to create the experience of pain. And neurons that fire together wire together. This is the oldest principle in neuroscience. It means as neurons fire together, they wire together, which means it becomes easier and easier for them to fire together in the same activity. For example, in creating the experience of pain, or learning to ride a bike, or whatever. This is the source of sensitization. Ways to restore sensitization back to normal. Learning, which we've already begun. This kind of learning is, is a key to it. Realizing, ah, yes, the key. What is the key? The key, the key. Now we're ready for the key. The key is realizing that with chronic pain, the problem is sensitization. Realizing that the problem is sensitization. And the solution are these four, learning, activity, biofeedback, guided imagery, and meditation. So I'm just going to pass these around. So uh, you'll I got three of them, so maybe they'll come by you three times to try to drive this in, because this is the key point of the talk. This is the key point of the talk. The problem is sensitization. That's what you really need to learn to overcome chronic pain, to, to stop focusing just if you have lower back pain, stop focusing just on your lower back. Realize that your problem is sensitization. 
learning, activity, biofeedback, guided imagery and meditation, or not covered in this talk with psychoactive drugs such as Lyrica and amitriptyline. Now, you can talk to Michael Bordowski about these. These drugs are not painkillers, but these are maintenance drugs, drugs that you take every day that decrease sensitivity. But that's not the topic of this talk. We're going to talk about some non-drug ways to do it.